It has been a packed house inside Manitowoc City Council Chambers tonight as a proposed homeless shelter for men is being discussed. Good evening, everyone. After more than a couple of hours of public discussion that just ended a few minutes ago, the city's plan commission still faced with deciding whether to grant the shelter a conditional use permit. Now, as you just saw, the meeting drew in a substantial crowd with people on both sides of the issue. The proposed shelter would be located on the corner of South 29th Street and Meadow Lane. Our Ben Krumholtz brings us more in this Fox 11 follow-up. Manitowoc's plan commission meetings typically don't meet in the city's council chambers. Middle Lane, South 29th. But this meeting was an exception as a capacity crowd wanted to hear about the Haven, a proposed homeless shelter for men. This is one of the main gathering areas. Mark Lagreve has been helping organize the men's homeless shelter for the past 18 months. This is a, a long time thing. This has been a long time coming. It should have been done 10 years ago. Manitowoc County does have the Hope House for the homeless, but they don't take in single men. Lagreve says there are about 30 homeless single men in the county. The Haven hopes to house up to 20 in this building. The plan is why so many people showed up at the plan commission meeting. At one point, a Manitowoc fire official stopped the meeting to reorganize people to meet the room's fire code. A lot of what I was going to say had already been said. People on both sides of the shelter plan took turns voicing their opinions. To be intellectually honest about this uh, with yourself, ask if this is the type of situation you want next door to your place of work or in your backyard or walking the streets with your children. I would urge that we look within ourselves and be helpful to those that need the help. It, it is possible for them to stay there. Sure. Lagreve says no matter what the city decides, the Haven still needs more donations and building repairs before it would open. In Manitowoc, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. Now, we are learning just moments ago the plan commission did go ahead and give the permit that would eventually open this facility. But, of course, now this issue needs to go before the full city council. So that's the next step. LaGreve says the two banks are financing the purchase of the South 29th Street building, which would eventually be the Haven. It was recently listed for sale at $115,000.